Har du kommet til at sætte nogle... Ej, det går ikke, det der. Nu kan vi ikke høre noget. Phil Schiller får lov til at præsentere den. Han kommer på lige om lidt. Jamen, I, I slukkede det, men det samme, I klikkede på noget. Puff, så slukkede det den. Den er lavet i... Og disse pixels allow it to have a very broad angle of view with accurate colors. They are simply stunning, unlike any display ever on a phone. And yes, they're bigger. They're a lot bigger. Here on the left is an iPhone 5S, in the center, iPhone 6, and on the right, the iPhone 6 Plus. You can see the difference. If you don't know... Præcis. Ja. Nu røg lyden. Yeah. Jamen, det er ikke os. Nej, vi taler videre. Uh, det, det matcher meget godt. Vi får oplysningerne ind. 100% kopieret af League of Legends yeah, yeah, yeah. Men League of Legends er jo skabt ud fra et mod, der var til Warcraft. Nemlig. Ja, det vidste vi godt. Eller, eller noget. Det er incredible that it is coming from a phone to carry around with you everywhere you go. It is killer. So, larger display, thinner design, incredible performance. Obviously, that impacts battery life. Well, I'm really happy to tell you that the team has worked hard to make the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Christopher, you can watch that video. Better battery life in every metric than the iPhone 5S. Just look at some of these numbers. iPhone 6, 50 hours of audio playback, 11 hours of video watching, 11 hours Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours. Så fik vi måske forklaring til, hvorfor den er så stor. Så er et stort batteri. 14 hours of HD video playback, 12 hours Wi-Fi browsing, LTE browsing, 3G browsing. Really great battery life. Along with the A8, there's our motion co-processor, a new generation. M8, the same as Alice, then it comes. And as you know, this motion co-processor works for all of the iOS 5s, with all those great sensors in your phone, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the compass. And this is really helpful for things like fitness applications to track data and provide it back to you. What are you telling me? What are you telling me? You can tell when you're cycling and you're walking, you're running. It also has a new ability to estimate distance. We don't know where you're going to go for a run. You can tell how many steps you're running, but also how far you've gone. And for the first time, give you credit for elevation as well. Flights of stairs. We all need to run more stairs. How does it do it? Well, there's a new sensor. Built into iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the barometer. It measures relative elevation from air pressure. The next that comes out, that will show up to me like the new health app in iOS 8. We now get credit for flights of stairs you walk throughout your day. In developers, new weather apps, they push you there. I hope you can hear that. They are not forgetting. They are full of it. Are they for high blood stimulants? So we can hear us. Also the elevation. No, but first I said they were for low. So great new A8 chip, great new M8 chip. Kan I huske det, vi var børn? Der hang sådan et, so uh, et uh, skiberur, man kunne banke på, så kunne man få at vide, om det beregnet. Ja, det er jo bare meter. Så nu skal du bare banke på din iPhone, så kan du få at vide, om det beregnet. 100 megabit. 150 megabit. Det er det i any smartphone i verden. It means we're working now with over 200 carriers around the world to support LTE on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So we're going to go through it all again. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Volte. Volte. That stands for Voice over LTE. It means we can take the voice data of making a phone call off the 5G network and move it up onto the 4G LTE network. Så vi er fri for dårlig dækning. Hører du efter? Ja, ja. Vi bliver bedt om at ikke tale hele tiden. Vi arbejder med mange kærligere rundt om verden. Vi vil rulle ud support for Volte med iPhone 6 og iPhone 6 Plus. Der er også faster wifi i begge produkter. 802.11ac. 
which is up to three times faster than 802.11n, up to 433 megabit per second. Now, if you combine Wi-Fi and Volti, our engineers came up with a really cool idea, making calls over Wi-Fi using your standard cellular connection. So maybe at your office or your home, you don't have a great cellular reception, but you do have Wi-Fi. You can make a standard call in the same way, and it'll go out over We'll seamlessly just hand off and keep going. Sådan. This is really cool technology. Det er ret sejt, så kan jeg begynde at ringe hjemmefra nu. Ja, det kan du. Når du får en iPhone 6. Hold da kæft, hvor kul. This is just the start of it. The first carriers working together with us on it are T-Mobile in the US and EE in the UK. And you'll see more quickly over time. So great wireless capabilities. Perhaps many people's favorite feature of their iPhone is their camera. And there are great new cameras in both iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And people love taking photos with their iPhone for good reason. Here's an example. National Geographic photographer Jim Richardson took this photo in the Scottish Highlands with an iPhone. I mean, it's a beautiful photo. He's taken many more. And he and all of us will take even better photos with the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus because there's an all-new iSight camera in it. It's an 8 megapixel iSight camera. It has Apple's innovative True Tone Flash. There's large 1.5 micron pixels, has a fast 2.2 aperture, but most importantly, there's a new generation eyesight sensor in it to take better photos. It's packed with some cool technologies. Let me just tell you one. It's called Focus Pixels. You see, Let's look inside at the sensor inside the eyesight camera. And you'll see these dedicated pairs of focus pixels. And what they do, they have little shutters on them, they read the light coming in from objects, and as the lens moves in and out, it can tell whether that object is in phase or out of phase. This is called phase detection autofocus. It's a technology used by high-end DSLRs. It's the best way to do fast autofocus. And now the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have it, and they can focus almost twice as fast as the previous generation. And there's so many more things a sensor can do to take beautiful photos. It has great new generation tone mapping. It has beautiful noise reduction. It all adds up to incredible photos. So let me show you a couple taken right with an iPhone 6, straight off the camera, no retouching. People love ah. taking portrait photos with their iPhone. And this is a great one. Look how beautiful it is. The skin tone is <laughs> really lovely. Hold great photo. Here's another portrait. He's smiling, if you can't tell. The skin tones are perfect. You have to trust me on that. <laughs> People also love taking macro photos. There's a beautiful one of a California monarch butterfly. Anyone know? That's a female, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and even landscapes with a wide-angle lens are just beautiful, particularly with the noise reduction for bluer skies without sacrificing sharpness. And everyone loves now taking panoramas with their iPhone as well. And you take even bigger ones with And with the new generation gyroscope, the stitching is near seamless. Now, what makes your photos great are three things. It's the five element lens. It's the imaging sensor. And it's also the brains behind it all, the image signal processor that's part of the Apple a8 chip, and there's a whole new generation signal processor inside iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. For example, it has a dedicated hardware block now to do advanced face detection. So you're taking a photo, you can even quicker find faces throughout your scene to get the perfect focus. And it plus, and eager the other. So then, 6 Plus adds something new with the iPhone line: optical image stabilization. So what's that? Let's look at the lens inside the iPhone 6 Plus. Of course, it moves <laughs> front to back to focus, as always. But now, it can also move up and down and side to side. And we combine that with the M8 and with the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Det er Apple, de bliver oversvømmet lige nu. Yeah. Vi sidder og holder opdateret fra diverse live blogs for at være sikre på, at uh, vi er med. Gyroscope. Ah, så kom den. Ja, de bruger simpelthen gyroskopet til at... Sharp photo because of optical image stabilization. So we love the eyesight cameras on our phones. And they take beautiful photos. So it's not a surprise we don't see a lot of these anymore. 
Okay. Dedicated cameras, small point and shoot cameras, they're certainly not as fun, and increasingly we're taking amazing photos directly off of our iPhone. What's interesting is, it's probably been a while since you've seen one of these as well. <laughs> Anyone remember what they're called? Camcorder. Yeah, camcorder. <laughs> I think our parents used to use these. Saw. Right? People are on the FaceTime camera. So? so, amazing cameras, both the front side and the back side, FaceTime camera and iSight camera. Both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus will come with an iOS 8, the latest version of the world's most advanced mobile operating system, and there are so many great features. I just want to point out a few of them that are really wonderful on the new Recap. iPhones. First, no. the new messages app. Newton's not needing any You can share your Dead location yeah. with friends. You can now share audio messages along with your photos and your videos. And there's a new controller on the bottom right-hand side there that you control with your thumb. So it's really easy to do one-handed. There's oh. a new keyboard with quick New type controller to one hand. words based on the content of what you're typing. And again, easy to reach one-handed. Det er faktisk ikke huske, om vi fik fortalt. Det kan jeg best phones ever made. iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Packed with features from everything from those amazing displays to the super fast 64-bit AA chip and on and on. They are the best we know how to make and I think the best anyone's seen. And the team works so hard to make these in the most environmentally friendly way. So we always like to call attention to this because it matters a lot. Not only do you see all the things you're used to seeing here, there's a new one as well, Beryllium Free, which we commit to do. So the team, the team makes these just, just in a wonderful fashion. There are new cases for both silicon phones. Cases. New silicon cases. Six colors with a great feel, including product red. And new leather cases. Five beautiful dyes, including product red there as well. iPhone 6 comes in these three beautiful colors, gold, Silver and space gray. Yeah, I think by now you're all wondering, yeah, but how much does it cost? Hey, 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 please. Well, I'm really happy to tell you it starts at just $199. Yeah. No? I did. Silver and space gray, and it starts yeah, at just $299. Plus you put a dollar to you. Really, you heard a wow, you're right. For 16 gigs, $399 for 64, and $499. September, the most advanced in the world. We now start at $69. iPhone 5C in an 8 gig configuration. Typical. We don't know if it's to Thailand. It comes on the 19th September. A new iOS 8 that we're seeing up here. Yeah, yeah, but it's already the next Friday. Yeah, 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 it's already so here you see the list of all the devices that are supported. Then September come iOS 8 with some software updating. And the slut for iPhone will be able to download for free. Now come on, yeah. On September 17th. So, as I said, it's a virtual party. It's not even mentioned in the news. New features for the location. So that's the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Thank you. And now, it's been a really interesting day. Thank you for your time. 1941. 1941. 1941. 1941. 1941. 1941. 1941. 1941. In every single way. And to make this point clear, we've enlisted the help of a couple of our friends to do some fun new ads. And I'd love to share one of those with you right now. This before you got some fun. They were just simple legacy to tell us. Okay, so good. Come go up, Mark. Does anybody know who they are? Yeah, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon. What is this for? It's incredibly fun to work with. Do you want to see another one? Here's another one. Who's going to look the APK? Entirely new category of service. Who comes along to pay? New service. 
det er jeg ikke vil med, som har en ny kategori produkter. Pins. And it's all about the wallet. Ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Our vision is to replace this. And we're going to start by focusing on payments. Payments is a huge business. Every day between credit and debit, we spend 12 billion dollars. That's over four trillion dollars a year, and that's just in the United States. And this business is comprised of over 200 million transactions a day. That's 200 million times that we scramble for our credit cards and go through what is a fairly antiquated payment process. <laughs> yeah. It looks something like this. This whole process is based on this little piece of plastic. And whether it's a credit or a debit card, we're totally reliant on the exposed numbers and the outdated and vulnerable magnetic stripe interface, which, by the way, is five decades old, and the security codes, which all of us know aren't so secure. It's so easy to lose your card or have it compromised. It's no wonder that people have dreamed of replacing these for years. But they all failed. The New York Times said it best. A truly mobile wallet has long been described as imminent, but it remains elusive. Most have been a disappointment or have not yet worked well enough for mainstream adoption. Why is this? It's because, as it turns out, most people that have worked on this have started by focusing on creating a business model that was centered around their self-interest instead of focusing on the user experience. We love us, and EE in the UK, and you'll see more quickly over time. So great wireless capabilities. Perhaps many people's favorite feature of their iPhone is their camera. And there are great new cameras in both iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And people love taking photos with their iPhone for good reason. Here's an example. National Geographic photographer Jim Richardson took this photo in the Scottish Highlands with an iPhone. I mean, it's a beautiful photo. He's taken many more. And he and all of us will take even better photos with the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus because there's an all new iSight camera in it. It's an 8 megapixel iSight camera. It has Apple's innovative true tone flash. There's large 1.5 micron pixels has a fast 2.2 aperture, but most importantly, there's a new generation eyesight sensor in it to take better photos. It's packed with some cool technologies. Let me just tell you one. It's called Focus Pixels. Is it those? Ige Let's look inside Manuel at the Blinde. sensor inside the eyesight Ew. camera. And you'll see these dedicated pairs of Focus Pixels. And what they do, they have little shutters on them, they read the light coming in from objects, and as the lens moves in and out, it can tell whether that object is in phase or out of phase. This is called phase detection autofocus. It's a technology used by high-end DSLRs. It's the best way to do fast autofocus. And now the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have it. And they can focus almost twice as fast as the previous generation. And there's so many more things a sensor can do to take beautiful photos. It has great new generation tone mapping. It has beautiful noise reduction. It all adds up to incredible photos. So let me show you a couple taken right with an iPhone 6, straight off the camera, no retouching. People love ah. taking portrait photos with their iPhone. And this is a great one. Look at how beautiful it is. The skin tone is <laughs> really lovely. Hold great photo. Here's another portrait. He's smiling, if you can't tell. The skin tones are perfect. You have to trust me on that. <laughs> People also love taking macro photos. There's a beautiful one of a California monarch butterfly. Anyone know? That's a female, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and even landscapes with the wide-angle lens are just beautiful, particularly with the noise reduction for bluer skies without sacrificing sharpness. And everyone loves now taking panoramas with their iPhone as well. And you take even bigger ones with 
And with the new generation gyroscope, the stitching is near seamless. Now what makes your photos great are three things. It's the five element lens, it's the imaging sensor, and it's also the brains behind it all, the image signal processor that's part of the Apple A8 chip. And there's a whole new generation signal processor inside iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. For example, it has a dedicated hardware block now to do advanced face detection. So you're taking a photo, you can even quicker find faces throughout your scene to get the perfect focus. And it plus, men ikke de andre. Sådan. Six plus adds something new with the iPhone line. Optical image stabilization. So what's that? Let's look at the lens inside the iPhone 6 Plus. Of course it moves <laughs> front to back to focus, as always. But now it can also move up and down and side to side. And we combine that with the M8 and with the... Det er altså ikke også det... Apple, de bliver oversvømmet lige nu. Yeah. Vi sidder og har det opdateret fra diverse live blogs for at være sikre på, at øh, vi er med. Gyroscope. Ah, så kom den. <laughs> ja, de bruger simpelthen gyroskopet til at... Det er en sharp photo, og... image stabilization. Så so vi love the eyesight cameras on our phones. And they take beautiful photos. Så so it's not a surprise, we don't see a lot of these anymore. Right? <laughs> Dedicated cameras, small point and shoot cameras. They're certainly not as fun. And increasingly, we're taking amazing photos directly off of our iPhone. What's interesting is, it's probably been a while since you've seen one of these as well. <laughs> Anyone remember what they're called? Camcorder. Yeah, camcorder. <laughs> I think our parents used to use these. Saw. Right? Keep heart on the FaceTime camera. So? so, amazing cameras, both the front side and the back side, FaceTime camera and iSight camera. Both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus will come with an iOS 8, the latest version of the world's most advanced mobile operating system, and there are so many great features. I just want to point out a few of them that are really wonderful on the new Recap. iPhones. First, nu. the new messages app. Newton's not 1941. You can share your Dead, location yeah. with friends. You can now share audio messages along with your photos and your videos. And there's a new controller on the bottom right-hand side there that you control with your thumb. So it's really easy to do one-handed. There's oh. a new keyboard with quick new type. controller it to one hand. words based on the content of what you're typing. And again, easy to reach one hand. If I see Kuskum, if you can take it. Wait. Best phones ever made. iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Packed with features from everything from those amazing displays to the super fast 64-bit AA chip and on and on. They are the best we know how to make and I think the best anyone's seen. And the team works so hard to make these in the most environmentally friendly way. So we always like to call attention to this because it matters a lot. iPhone. <laughs> the iPhone 6. And the iPhone 6. <laughs> without a doubt, the best iPhones we've ever done. And I hope you'll agree, they're the best phones you have ever. I did go like that. Look at the corner. Phil Schiller for low to present it. Han kommer på lige om lidt. Jamen, I, I slukkede det med det samme. I klikkede på noget. Puff, så slukkede du den. Den er lavet i... Og de pixels allowet til at have en meget bred angle af view med accurate colors. De er simpelthen stunning, unlike any display ever on a phone. And yes, de er større. De er meget større. Her på højre er en iPhone 5S. I center er iPhone 6. Og på højre er iPhone 6 Plus. Du kan se forskellen. Hvis du ikke ved, så er det ikke. Nu røg lyden. Yeah. Jamen det er ikke også. Nej, vi taler videre. Uh, det, det matcher meget godt. Vi får oplysningerne ind. 100% kopieret af League of Legends skriver yeah. yeah. Men League of Legends er jo skabt ud fra et mod, der var to år. Nemlig. Ja, det vidste vi godt. Eller, eller noget. 
how incredible that is coming from a phone to carry around with you everywhere you go. It is killer. So, larger display, thinner design, incredible performance. Obviously, uh, that impacts battery life. Well, I'm really happy to tell you that the team has worked hard to make the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus have a better battery life in every metric than the iPhone 5S. Yeah. Just look at some of these numbers. iPhone 6, 50 hours of audio playback, 11 hours of video watching, 11 hours Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours. So if you maybe explain to why the iPhone 6 has so much battery, 14 hours of HD video playback, 12 hours Wi-Fi browsing, LTE browsing, 3G browsing, really great battery life. Along with the A8, there's our motion co-processor, a new generation. M8, the same model as the Nick Com. And as you know, this motion co-processor works along with the iOS 5S. With all those great sensors in your phone, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the compass, and this is really helpful for things like fitness applications to track data and provide it back to you. What do you tell me? Not only do you see all the things you're used to seeing here, there's a new one as well, beryllium free which we commit to do. So the team, the team makes these just, just in a wonderful fashion. There are new cases for both silicon phones. There are new silicon cases. Six colors with a great feel, including product red. And new leather cases. Five beautiful dyes, including product red there as well. iPhone 6 comes in these three beautiful colors, gold, silver, and space gray. Yeah, I think by now you're all wondering, yeah, but how much does it cost? Hey, 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 please. Well, I'm really happy to tell you it starts at just $199. Yeah. No? I did. Silver and Space Gray, and it starts yeah, at just $299. Precis $200. Yeah, really, you really heard a wow. You're right. For 16 gigs, $399 for 64, and $499 for 64. September, the most advanced smartphone in the world. We now start at $69 iPhone 5C in an 8 gig configuration. Typical. Vi ved heller ikke om det er til Tyskland. Det kommer den 19. september. Puder fem. The new iOS 8 that we're seeing up here. Ja, det er omkring. Ja, ja, men det er kæmpe. Det går allerede næste fredag. The team works hard as always to make it available to the widest number of customers possible. So here you see the list of all the devices that are supported. Og den 7. september kommer iOS 8 ud som software opdatering. Og det er slut for iPhone nu. Slut for iPhone. Slut for iPhone. Nu kommer der mere. On September 17. So, yes. as I said, this is Verge Radio. It's not even mentioned in the near future so application. So that is the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Thank you. And now, it's really fun. Now, it's really fun. Thank you for your time. 1941. 1941. 1941. iPhone 6 really are. How they're the best phones you've ever seen. But a great product isn't just a collection of features. It's how it all works together, how it makes you feel. These products are, have bigger screens, and they're amazing. But they're much better in every single way. And to make this point clear, we've enlisted the help of a couple of our friends to do some fun new ads. And I'd love to share one of those with you right now. This before you drop something. It was just a simple legacy to tell us. Oh, yes, I forgot. Hope you come and go up, Mark. And you're walking, you're running. It also has a new ability to estimate distance. We don't know where you're going to go for a run. You can tell how many steps you're running, but also how far you've gone. And for the first time, give you credit for elevation as well. Flights of stairs. We all need to run more stairs. How does it do it? Well, there's a new sensor. Built into iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the barometer. It measures relative 
Elevation from air pressure. The next that comes out of the sky is pulse meter. Like the new health app in iOS 8, where you now get credit for flights of stairs you walk throughout your day. The developers are new weather apps. Can you hear that? I hope you can hear that. Not even for free. It's completely. Is it for high blood pressure? So we can hear us. No, but first they said it was for low. So great new AA chip, great new MA chip, the core. Can you hear that? We were born. Der hang sådan et, so uh, et uh, skiberur, man kunne banke på, så kunne man få at vide, om det er beregnet. Ja, det var barometer. Så nu skal du bare banke på din iPhone, så kan du få at vide, om det er beregnet. 100 megabit. 150 megabit. Det er det, der er det, der er det, der er det. Det er det, der er det, der er det. Det er det, der er det, der er det. Det er det, der er det, der er det. Det er det. Tak, Apple. Så må du godt skrue lidt op igen. Ja, fint. Volti. Jeg tror, du er lidt smadret der. Sådan. Så smadrer de telebranchen nu, eller hvad? Så vi er fri for dårlig dækning. Hører du efter? Ja, ja. Vi bliver bedt om at ikke tale hele tiden. Vi er gået ud for at supporte Volti med iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. There's also faster Wi-Fi in both of the products as well, 802.11ac, which is up to three times faster than 802.11n, up to 433 megabit per second. Now, if you combine Wi-Fi and Volti, our engineers came up with a really cool idea, making calls over Wi-Fi using your standard cellular connection. So maybe at your office or your home, you don't have a great cellular reception. But you do have Wi-Fi. You can make a standard call in the same way, and it'll go out over. We'll seamlessly just hand off and keep going. This is really cool technology. So can I begin to ring him from now? Yeah, you can. Telephone number six. Hold the kiss, my queen. This is just the start of it. The first carriers working together with us on it are T-Mobile in the U.